what do you think gives the athletes energy to run fast and play hard during sports and games what do you think they eat to build muscles and get stronger for these intense activities hard sports and games do you think they have some energy stored up that they use big questions are huh? aren't you curious to find out i know i am because i would love to know what to eat to run fast build muscles and store some energy for when i need it the most let's explore this together imagine our athlete getting ready to run a 100 meter race what do you think is the most important thing he needs to finish the race quickly yes it's energy and not just any energy but quick energy so where does this quick energy come from it comes from a nutrient called carbohydrates the athlete needs to eat foods rich in carbohydrate to get this burst of energy what are some examples of carbohydrate food or what are some sources of carbohydrate rich food rice is a major source of carbohydrates right rice gives quick energy helping the athlete power through the race as fast as possible other sources include like sugar potatoes bajra and corn besides giving energy carbohydrates also supports the brain in its day to day functions and it also regulate sugar or they help keep something called blood sugar at the right level now what do you mean by regulating blood sugar our blood has certain amount of sugar in it and carbohydrate help maintain that balance if the level goes too high or too low it can lead to health problems which you will learn about in higher classes but is energy alone enough for an athlete to succeed not really he also needs strong muscles right and how do you build muscles yes with protein protein helps build muscles and also fix any damage in body cells or it repairs damaged cells what are these cells cells are building blocks of life or we say cells are the fundamental unit of life about which again you will study in detail in higher classes now protein helps build muscles and also fix any damage in body cells when needed just like after a tough workout now what are some of the protein rich food or what are some of the sources of protein for vegetarians pulses are a great source as well as soya bean and for the non vegetarians meat and egg are excellent sources of protein so protein helps build muscle repair cells and keep the body strong now the athlete has quick energy from carbohydrates and muscle building power from protein but what happens if he runs out of energy that's where fats come in fats provide long lasting energy which is actually stored energy and fats do more than just providing energy they also helps the body absorb important vitamins from the food we eat about which we'll talk more in our future videos what are some sources of fats ghee oil butter fish eggs and meat are all great examples so you see uh, these nutrients like carbohydrates uh, protein and uh, fat that we have here are required in large quantities you must know why they are required in large quantities now because carbohydrate provide energy protein helps build muscle and fat gives long lasting energy and it helps in absorption of vitamins so these are the major uh, requirements of the body and hence they are required in large quantities and remember we uh, spoke about nutrients that are required in large quantities by our body are known as macro nutrients so carbohydrate uh, protein fats are required by our body in large quantities and they are known as macro nutrients so it's not just athletes who require carbohydrate protein and fat a healthy human being will require sufficient amount of carbohydrate protein and fat so we now know the carbohydrate present in the food gives us the energy what helps us build muscle and repairs damaged cell the protein present in our food and lastly we now know what 
stores the energy or what helps in absorption of the vitamins and that is coming from the fat that is present in the food and since these nutrients are required in large quantities by our body they are known as macronutrients here is a fun fact for you when resting people get about 10 percent of energy from protein 40 percent energy from fat and 50 percent energy from carbohydrate and in moderate intense activity like brisk walking or swimming hiking etc the energy sources 50 percent from fat and 50 percent of energy from carbohydrate 